Contrary to popular belief, the world of golf is super exciting and interesting. This year, all the great matches were played by sibling duos, and we're so excited for them. In today's video, we'll be talking about one of the best sibling golf duos, Min Woo and Min Ji Lee, and how they're going to smash it at the upcoming match. Are you excited? We are. Let's get into it. First off, the siblings are set to play in the Australian Open. Recently, Min Woo teamed up with his super famous sister, Min Ji, to rock the golfing world. Having made their marks individually on the game, this was the logical next step. This week at the Open, multiple mixed teams will compete for a national title. With people's growing interest in the sport, things are taking an exciting new turn and the Lees are behind it. When asked about his sister, the golfer smiled and said that it would be nice to have a partner who hits every fairway and every green so that he could just lash at it. His fondness for his sister is adorable. She won the U.S. Open and is currently ranked fifth in the world. We're super fond of her too. The siblings are really excited about the upcoming match because they don't get to hang out too much. Now, they'll get to spend quality time together doing what they love most. Min Woo said that their team-up was discussed before, but his sister urged other players to show their support for it as soon as possible so that it could be put into action. She said that it would be great if both men's and women's competitions were held together on a global stage. Their amazing presence on the course has turned heads and created the space for mixed matches. Now, for how proud Min G is of her brother. In an exclusive interview, the famous golfer told her fans that she's very proud of how far her brother has come. He went from being an unknown in the sport to a two-time winner on the DP World Tour. She finally saw him in his element after they played a practice round with Adam Scott. Since she hasn't played golf with her brother that often, she finds it very interesting to watch him play now. She talks about how he's grown up. That's adorable. Both of them had a great year. While they didn't compete with each other, they improved their skills on their own. Min Ji had an especially great year as she won twice and made more than five and a half million dollars. We're sure that she's tired after all the matches she's played this year, but she still was determined to win the Australian Open. This has been her dream since before she turned pro. With her skills and passion for the game, we're sure she'll be a force to be reckoned with. Now let's talk about the greatest siblings in golfing history. Sometimes golf can run in the family, and we love a family event. At the Wilshire Country Club, we were all over the moon when Maria Jutanagarn clinched her first LPGA Tour victory in front of her accomplished younger sister, former world number one golfer Aria. Their tearful celebration at the 18th green showed us how important family is. It also got us thinking that when it comes to active players, are there any siblings that could give the Thai pair a run for their titles? Of course there are. Hold on to your golf clubs. To start with, we've got Rafael and Emma Cabrera Bello. Rafa finally made it on the European Tour at the Australian Golf Open in 2009. After winning the 2012 Omega Dubai Desert Classic, he made it into the top 100 of the official World Golf Ranking, which was super amazing for his career. He beat Colum Shinkwin in a playoff at the 2017 Aberdeen Asset Management Scottish Open to win his first Rolex Series event. His great game has made him one of the sport's up-and-coming stars, and as the world's number 25 golfer, he's one of the favorites to make Europe's Ryder Cup team. On the other hand, his younger sister is passionate about it too. The 32-year-old golfer is currently ranked number 760 in the world and has played in more than 100 events on the Ladies European Tour. She turned pro in 2008 after having a successful amateur career where she played for Europe in the Junior Solheim Cup and Junior Ryder Cup. Since then, she's won several tournaments all over Europe. The golfer has several top 10 finishes to her name. Not only is she a great player, but she's also a great person. She runs a golf advocacy group for women called Chicas on Tour. The group gives its members unique tour ideas, reviews of courses and resorts, podcasts, and more. Together, they make one of the best teams in the history of golf. Now for Tony and Gipper Finau. The Finau brothers, who started young, made their mark on the game right away. At the 2006 Utah Energy Solutions Championship, Gipper was the first golfer tied for 58th to move up to the top tier. He was only 16 years old at the time. After that, in 2009, he appeared with his brother on Golf Channel's Big Break. Things have gotten so much better for both of them. Even though Tony hurt his ankle badly the day before the Masters earlier this month, the 33rd ranked golfer in the world has risen to the top. His brother is still the 
1,985th best player in the world, which is where he has been since he turned pro right after finishing high school. Since then, he has taken part in three more tour events in Utah. He's still striving to realize his dream, as seen by his enrollment in Q School and participation in many tours. They're going to be great. Coming up, we've got Wesley and George Bryan. It's easy to forget how amazing it is that the Bryan brothers became famous for their trick shots before Wesley made the jump to professional golf and eventually won a PGA Tour event. The 28-year-old hasn't finished in the top 25 on the tour since July, but by playing in the tournament for the first time, he's reached a huge career goal. His brother, who is 30, is also trying to make a name for himself as a professional golfer. He plays on the PGA Tour, and his best finish so far was a tie for fourth at the 2017 Essential Costa Rica Classic. He's ranked 1,567th in the world and also made it to the final round of the 2017 LeCom Health Challenge. We love hard workers, and we love them even more when they're brothers. Up next, we've got the amazing trio, Lexi, Nicholas, and Curtis Thompson. Lexi Thompson doesn't need to be introduced. She's an icon of the world of golf. At 23, the third best female player in the world has been in the spotlight for more than half of her life. Here's something about her you probably don't know. Her role models are her brothers, Nicholas and Curtis, who are both pro athletes. Even though Curtis, who is 25, has only made one cut on the tour this year, he is very good. In 2017, her other brother was the best driver on the tour, with an average distance of 325 yards. Even so, he only got 90th place on the list. Nicholas has won more than $6 million in his career and has finished in the top five at several PGA Tour events. We've seen them practice together, and we gotta say, if they build up a team, they'll be unstoppable. What's more, we've got the amazing Kepka brothers. A year ago, the U.S. Open winner Brooks Kepka and his younger brother played together in the Zurich Classic. They tied for fifth place after shooting a 62 in the last round, which gave the medalist honors. Brooks was already one of the best American players in the game before he hurt his wrist and had to have surgery. To recover, he had to take some time off, and it messed up his game. His brother, on the other hand, finished ninth on the Challenge Tour when he was just 24 years old. This got him into the European Tour. He has come a long way since since then and is now ranked number 299. Even though they were playing 4,000 miles apart, the Kepka brothers won their tournaments in October. Finally, we have the Corda sisters, Jessica and Nelly. The Corda sisters' quick rise up the rankings this year has shocked the entire golfing world. Jessica had already won four tour titles by the time she turned 25. Her first was in Australia when she was just a teen. Since her tour debut in 2017, her younger sister Nelly has continued to impress us with her mature and passion for the game. She's made a name for herself by finishing in the top two at several tournaments, including this year's HSBC Women's World Championship. They're quickly becoming the two best tennis players in the United States. They have played two Solheim Cups together and won several singles titles between them. In addition to a PGA Championship and an Olympic gold medal, they've won seven times on the LPGA Tour. That's a wrap for this video. Which other golfing siblings do you think should be on this list? Let us know in the comments below. Below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.